Today I have a big review for the channel. Um, I'm reviewing this, which is the Arrow Funko Pop uh, figure, and I'm very excited about this. Um, Funko Pops have been out, oh, they've been out for a really, really long time. Um, I think I want to say, I don't really know when the line started, so I'm not even going to take a guess. Um, but the line's been out for a really, really long time, and, uh, you know, it's something that's became more and more popular every year, and I've always wanted to review one. I've never actually purchased one, um, but, you know, today was, um, today's my birthday, actually, and I decided just to get a few of them and review them, and I thought it would be a lot of fun, so, uh, yeah. Um, so up here we have Pop Television, and we have the Arrow Television Series logo, and we have 207. I'm guessing that's the number of the figure. I don't know if it's, like, Lego, where they have those little numbers, and there's no, like I guess the numbers of the logo are for some reason important uh and you know i'm just gonna go back to this now uh but then we have a really clear uh view of the arrow which looks really awesome then on the side we have the arrow's face and then we have 207 here we have the arrow written here on the side and i want the sideway view that way you can see more of the figure then we have the arrow here and the arrow written here vinyl figure and we have that in different languages as well um on top we have uh pop television with the arrow again on the bottom we have a bunch of legal stuff that no one really cares about and then on the back we have arrow the television series once more with the arrow written here and we have pop television 207 and then we have all the other available figures and we have an image of the arrow right here again and um so uh yeah I'm really excited about this, to be honest. I've really wanted to review these for a very long time. I'm very, very excited. I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Reverse Flash, the Flash, and Captain Cold, all from the Flash series, um, very soon, probably in the next few weeks. I actually have them inside me now. I'm just not sure when the uh, videos will be up. Yeah. So here we have the green arrow, and this thing is so awesome. Or the arrow. Uh, this is um, actually a season 2 slash season 1 slash season 3 combo of arrow. Uh, as you can see, he's wearing the mask that Barry Allen gives him in season 2. So this is more of a season 2 season 3 arrow. What's interesting is he's actually carrying the season 1 bow, which was, I believe, destroyed by Malcolm Merlin in the season 1 finale of arrow. Um, but it's still really awesome. And in all honesty, I don't really care because I love this bow. In my opinion, it's one of the most awesome looking bows in television movie history so i'm really glad they've included it but as you can see it's brown it has a little gold and it's mainly silver on the edges and i just or the edges i really like that and the wire um it's hard plastic but it's really cool we also have three little tiny arrows right here attached to our side arm or kind of like arm and then we have more of like a dark green with light green mix we have the boots with the arrows uh, going down they're hard to see because the figure is a bit smaller than you know like it's been shrunken down so it's kind of hard to see all the details and stuff, but they are there. And then we have the arrow little bit logo over here, a little like the arrow. And then he has black gloves, and he has green there at the top, the hood part, with silver and black going all the way around. On the back, we have a little arrow holder with his arrows inside, and they're really awesome. Then we have this ginormous green hood, which is really cool. Uh, the head also can do a 360, only articulation on there, but it does also have like a little kind of like beard effect to kind of make it look like uh, Oliver Queen, Stephen Mill. Uh, but the thing I really like about this is, what I really like about Funko, this is something I've always appreciated about them. I've never really been into them, never bought them, but one thing I appreciate, whenever there's a line like this that goes to the cute um, aspect of toys, or characters in movies, they always go and make it too cute, and they don't ever put detail in. But what I like is they put detail here. They actually have detail. As you can see, the bow is very, very, very well detailed, but they've also put cuteness into it. That's what they've tried to do. They've tried to make it look cute, but they also respect detail, so they also put a little detail in there, and I really think that is a great part on or like just a great job on Funko's part and I'm very very excited about that but uh yeah I really like it and um it's the first one I reviewed on my channel and I do recommend it I really like it I also like the creases at the top of the hood and on the bottom to actually make it look like a real hood uh but thank you for watching please like and subscribe and have a nice day